Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. I'm so glad to see you all today. We are doing a thrift flip with some really nice ladies. Great channels. It is Tammy from the Rusted Willow and Delighted to DIY. Please check out their channels. Project number one. I found this Lazy Susan at the thrift store, I think, for like $2.99. And it doesn't turn very well, so I'm going to put some, de um, yeah, some kind of oil on it or something. But I didn't like, I like the birds and I like the writing, but I didn't like the way it was distressed and I didn't like the crackle. And I just wanted to really clean it up. And I wanted to put a... Oh, I don't know what you call it. Um, it's not a transfer, but it's paper that's got like a heavier tissue, and it's got printing on it, and it's done by Jamie Ray Vintage. Check her out. She's close to me down in Lehigh. She does great stuff, and she's got a YouTube channel. So anyway, I picked out that uh, chicken paper, and I am putting a lot of Mod Podge on here. And I notice there's like a little crack and stuff, but it wouldn't hurt it. The white behind makes it stand out better. And so I'm just smoothing it down. And it's nice because it's a little heavier paper that you can lift up. But it's, it's easy to manipulate. And I can lift it up, put a little more Mod Podge on it. And now I'm going around and doing the sides using my plaid brayer that they sent me. Love my plaid, my paint, my Mod Podge. Okay, so now I'm getting the sides done little bit of Mod Podge under there and I can just roll the sides under. I think it looks cute. And I'm just covering the top to seal it in. I noticed I did have a couple of bubbles in it, but if I just left it alone when they dried, they just sank down and went to get sticking. So here's the finished project. Tell me if you like it. I know it's probably not everybody's thing, but I love it. I've got some great papers down there, and they're only about six bucks a paper, and they're huge, huge papers. So you could cover a dresser or a table with them. Okay, project number two. I wanted to do this owl that I thrifted. And he was originally, I think, from Hobby Lobby for like $7.99. And I got him for free, actually. And I wanted to make him look more stone or cement looking. And I had these other three items from Dollar Tree, so I thought I might as well do those too. So I put a big glob of chalk paint in there and a little bit of black because I want a nice gray. And I've got my salt wash. I like the salt wash a little better than I do the baking soda, but if you want to make a textured looking paint, use baking soda. And you put enough in to make it fairly thick. And here I am covering, this was the only white pumpkin left and it had a broken stem, so I thought, well, I'll turn it into cement looking. And this one does feel like cement is very heavy. I love the look of the cement things. And now I'm covering the owl. 
and I got it in a little few of those holes, but all I had to do is just use a little tool and poke out the holes and it came out nice. So I'm just getting the owl covered. I have another one identical and I don't know if I want to turn that into a cement looking or not. Now I took some white wax and I just went over the pieces so it makes where the dents are and things stand out. It makes it look kind of more dimensional. So what you do is just put the white wax on and then wipe it off and it wipes off in the high spots and stays in the low spots. Gives it kind of a weathered looking cement. I think with all its crevices, I think the fox came out really cool. I think he looks cool, and I like the way the white makes his tail stand out. Sorry for any noises in the background. I'm doing this in the morning and I usually do them at night when everybody's asleep and that way I won't be interrupted. But today my husband's come in three different times and the dog has sparked and the construction workers going on next door. I'm telling you, the struggle's real. Yes. Okay, so anyway, I'm putting Mod Podge on to seal them. I put a matte Mod Podge on, but it made it a little shinier than I wanted. But it will keep the paint from scraping off. I love the way the white goes in the pumpkin ridges. Okay, and here they are, all done. See, they look pretty cool. Okay, now for project number three. I got this pot, coffee pot, at a thrift store, and it was $2.99, and it regularly sold at Old Navy for $15. And I got these transfers online, and I just love the sunflowers, and they look gorgeous in the fall. I have a lot of wild sunflowers that grow up my house. 
So what I'm doing is I'm cutting them apart and separating the leaves from the flowers and deciding which ones I'm going to use. Sometimes you just have to hold them up there and see what you want. I wasn't sure I was going to use the stem or not, and then I decided to use the stem. And I used um, the great big one that I got of these. I used it on another project. Now this had this label on the front that was imprinted into the enamel, and I tried to sand it off, and it would only sand off. I tried to use uh, acetone to take it off, and so we're going to cover it up. Now you take the backing off, and you still have plastic on the front. You use a stick. This rubber I got came with an IOD transfer. It's plast heavy plastic, and I really like it. But I was really surprised that this went on the enamel almost immediately. I didn't have to mess with this a lot, where some of them you really have to rub. And I have found out that if you seal it with like a Mod Podge or something, which I didn't on the enamel, but if it's on something kind of slick, it will stick much better than if you use just plain chalk paint. So you saw how that just went on there really nice, showing you the price. I thought, Old Navy, when did they make coffee pots? I think this is a decorative one. I don't think I'd use it for making coffee or tea. But watch how slick this is on the enamel. I hardly had to rub it all. And if you've watched any other videos, you notice that I really had to work hard on some of them. There was one I got from Dollar Tree that, um, boy, I just was really pushing on that thing. So if you decide to do transfers, do a layer of Mod Podge. See how nice that went on? Look how good this is looking. It's so pretty. And if I want to, I can turn it around and do something for Christmas on the other side. And if you lift it and you see just a little part on the plastic, just lay it back down and rub it again. I keep trying to fit this leaf in there. <laughs> I never did find a place to put it. You can put things on top of each other, give them a little dimension. Look at that. I'm just so amazed at how nice it does on enamel. Nope, still not fitting that leaf in. the different leaf I'm fitting in. And you never know, I may end up putting the rest of the sunflowers on the other side. Oh, there it is. No, still, no. 
still not able to fit that thing in. Deciding if I want to do that side or not. And here's this little one. And I found out with one of the IOD transfers, I accidentally touched it on um, paper and it stuck immediately. So really decide where you want your things very carefully. And there it is all finished. I think all the projects just came out great today. I just love thrifting and making things look fun and new and decorative. And I appreciate each and every one of you for coming to visit. All my subbies are great. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it. I'd love to have you. I just do what I love to do. Okay, see you later. Go out and spread some kindness. Bye.